How'd you guys do in that power outage? <laughs> I'll let you go. Holy moly! Oof, hi Natalie, we survive, I think. Yeah, you guys have a generator though, right? We do have a generator, so in the house, uh, it was uh, it was very comfortable. But uh, just the fact that it was so quiet and people couldn't get into church and we couldn't have mass, it was just so frustrating. And then we had to assist the diocese moving a major, major event. Up to 400 people were coming here for Wednesday. We couldn't host them. Mm. And thanks be to God, St. Dominic and their wonderful pastor uh, welcomed them down in Brick. And I believe everybody who was registered went. They, they had about 400 people show up. That's great. I'm glad it worked out because that was really sketchy. Was that, it was. It was. And, and it was a little, um, hey, there was nothing we could do about it. And we want to give thanks to the brave men and women of the power companies. Um, who are working so hard to restore power um, and uh, just remind everybody else that although it's uncomfortable not having power and it disrupts our lives, patience is a virtue and uh, uh, Central Jersey really got hit hard. Well, I think all the state of New Jersey yeah, got yeah, hit yeah. hard. And uh, I also, sorry, there is uh, Fatality, I think. There's several, really? uh, several fatalities. I have um, no internet at home. I have no idea what's going on in the yeah. world. So uh, this is this is a big issue. This isn't just you know something that'll be corrected by rerouting the power. This was a major uh, storm. And so we thank those who are trying to get power back on, and we're praying for those who are still adversely affected by the uh, by the fallout. Um, yeah, okay. Um, oh, one more thing. What? Yes. This is a wonderful time to clean out freezers and refrigerators. Well, you have Throw to. Throw everything out. <laughs> you don't Throw have a choice. everything out. Scrub it down with, as my grandmother would say, biungaline. Biungaline. That's bleach. And then you can start filling it up again. Hmm. Okay. Now, Friday, which is apparently tomorrow, because I have completely lost track of the days, um, yes. not having any power or, you know, anything. Um, but tomorrow is Friday, and we have an event here, a night of worship with a young lady called Dana Catherine. Yes, Dana Catherine is uh, going to be joining us, and she will lead us in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. If you've never been to Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, you really should come and just sit in the presence of our Eucharistic Lord. It'll begin at 7 o'clock, and then after a period of uh, prayer uh, and adoration, then it will kind of turn into a, a spiritual con concert. And we're very happy to welcome Dana Catherine back because she was baptized here when oh, she was a baby. How nice. Her family were members of our parish, and then they kind of moved down south. So. Uh, it's 7 o'clock in the church, and all are welcome. And we have power and air conditioning. Yes. Working bathrooms. Yes. All that good stuff. So. Well, you know, we were going to have mass today, whether we had power or not. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of the night, you know what woke me up? What? I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, if somebody needed to use the bathroom, they would be pitch dark. Mm. Isn't it amazing what you think about in the middle of the night? Yeah. <laughs> That is amazing. Yes. Yeah, uh, but you know, and that you know, this this came in handy in my own house because you know, well, my parents have a generator, so we had some limited uh, electric. But um, the phone, everybody's phone has a flashlight on it, so you can right. always get oh, okay. where you need to go. So, and you know, since people can't put their phones down, they uh, this is true. <laughs> they probably, they probably take, take them, them into the bathroom, <laughs> but we're not going to go there. <laughs> Anywho, um, okay, so. Today is the Feast of St. James the Greater. Yes. Right? Apostle. Uh, you know, the reason why he has the title Greater is because he was the first James to join uh, the company of apostles. There is a second James, and he's referred to as the lesser. Yeah. And he is the first of the, uh, the apostles to be martyred. He was beheaded by Herod Agrippa. Um, and uh, somehow his uh, body made it from... Jerusalem all the way to Capistello in Spain where his tomb is and um, I've been there and I'm going back in uh, September oh, to pray at the tomb of St. James the Greater. Hmm. 
Hmm. I've always wanted to. That's the one with the huge thurible, right? Yes. That's oh, I want to go the, there. The yes. Man. Yes. Yeah, so today, if you go on YouTube, you probably will see a few, a few clips of that uh, huge thurible. Being Look at used. us. It's so cool. It's enormous. It, it takes eight men to work it because it goes back and forth. Or um, probably like four strong women. It takes eight men. Yeah. What is the next question? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, someone has been home too long. Well, just saying. Okay. Uh, now, Sunday is Lisa Clark's birthday, so you want to give yes, a shout out Yes, happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa. Happy birthday, Lisa. Yeah. Enjoy. God bless. And uh, Sunday also, <clears throat> I'm preaching at the Baptist Church. Yeah, we heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's my second time going there for that, and um, I'm pretty excited. Do we have the same gospel? We have the same yes, okay, um, sometimes the readings match up and sometimes they mm -hmm. don't because they use what's called the common lectionary, so okay. um, sometimes there's a little difference. But I had a choice in the first reading. I could use either um, the story with you know Abraham uh, negotiating with God or a reading from Hosea where God tells Hosea to go out and marry a harlot and I picked that one, of course. Of so, course. Yeah, it's great. It's a great reading. So, yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so. I'm very excited. Okay, and then um, tomorrow is the Feast of St. Anne and Joachim, Joachim. There's a lot of different ways people say that name. Yes, well, in Trenton we say Joachim. 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 St. Joachim. We and have a church, St. Joachim. Yes. yes. It's now part of... A merge parish called Our Lady of the Angels, but it still has the name of St. Joachim Church. And they're the grandparents of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, their uh, daughter, Mary, is the mother of God and the mother uh, of the church. So it's a very special day for all of you who have, who are grandparents. Make sure you get a hug from your grandchildren. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> he always wants a hug from his grandchildren. <laughs> And if any uh, young people are, are, are watching, please, if your grandparents are still uh, with you, give them a call tomorrow and tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. Very nice. I'll be at St. Uh, Our Lady of Sorrow, St. Anthony, giving a celebrating Mass and preaching tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yes. And I will be preaching on um, the unconditional love of grandparents. Very nice. Yes, there's no almost no greater love than the love a grandparent has for their child. That's because they can love them and then give them back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure that that's true. <laughs> okay, anything else? Um, Father, you got anything else? Oh, please uh, uh, remember the new families, the couples who are coming this Sunday for baptism oh, yeah. class. Is this Sunday? And for the team as well, because it's going to be the first time of them like talking in public and giving their own experience of God to the new parents. So please pray for this uh, beautiful event that we are having this coming this Sunday here in the residence. Yes, and we are um, video taping. Is it still called video taping? No, it's taping? not. What's it oh, called? We call it video recording. taping. What recording. are we doing? Recording. 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 Okay, we are recording in the uh, priest's residence here at St. Robert's. Uh, we had arranged to do this in uh, in, in light of um, the lack of power, but uh, and we decided to stay with it. So those families and our team will be meeting here after the 10 o'clock mass to talk about um, the, uh, the wonder of the sacrament of baptism and the wonder of being Catholic parents. So awesome. keep them in your prayers. In prayers. And okay. you too, right? Because you're like, yes. Oh, uh, yes. So, yeah. All right. Okay. I think that's Thank it. You. That's it. God bless. We'll God see bless you this you. weekend.